What is this? Oh my god, okay, don't even- don't click on random things. Ugh. Hello, this is Trog, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone Light. I still got all my fancy bobbles on, and it is raining, and the reason I have brought you all in while it's raining instead of waiting for the rain to die down, I want to show you how to make dust, because uh, I don't think I did it on, on camera. So what you do is, okay, how many of those barrels do we make? We made 10. Okay, so you take... Seven, eight, nine, oh, uh, um, ten, yep. So you take this uh, cobblestone, and then you take a hammer, and you break all of them with a hammer. I just vein minored, and that turns it into gravel. So then you take it again, hammer it down, turns into sand. One more time, turns into dust. And then what you do with this dust is with these wooden barrels, you right click them and it turns them into clay, which uh, makes no sense. But hey, it works. <laughs> At least it works in this pack. But uh, yeah, we've been sieving through some stuff. I turned these flint stiffened or these meshes, the normal mesh into flint stiffened mesh. And if I break this, you can see... How to make it it's just a normal mess with mesh with some flint and you can either make that by breaking it or crafting it and i i just chose to craft it because it was easier for me we need to upgrade these again because i'm not getting redstone all this stuff so also in the quest book i have a few of these quests done so we can claim them and i always go for the top one there we go. Okay, so we got three loot boxes, and uh, what we're going to do is start getting into these machines and stuff like that pretty quick. So, what do these loot boxes have to offer us? A diamond shield. Okay. Cryostabilized flux ducts. Those are fantastic. So, these are a wire, basically, and it has infinite power. Uh, usage so this will be great for a really good uh, power system eventually and then we have these viaducts which are really cool so it looks like this diamond shield is only used to to get diamonds back very strange how do you make it oh it's a shield oh it's like an actual shield that is so cool ah oh, that's a great that's great that saves us a whole lot of trouble when we start doing some mob stuff. But, okay, now we can sleep, finally. So it's nighttime. Let's just grab the chest through the crafting table. I don't know why I thought that was logical, but I did. <laughs> We're going to need to combine pieces of clay, just little balls of clay, with bone meal. And that will give us some crucibles that are unfired crucibles. Then we will fire them and we can use that for producing lava, which is basically the first tier power source you can do in this, uh, this style project ozone thingamabob vein miner. And there we go. Okay. So let us combine these okay so then we get this uh this clay stuff and we can use that to make that thing i never know what these dolls are for i see them all the time in in this project ozone and the skyblock stuff but i have no idea what they're used for so hopefully okay this will give us three that's pretty good so Put this in here and we get all this grout. And this is, this also needs to be smelted up in the furnace. And now our crucibles are fired and we can put that in there with 16 pieces of coal. Got to be efficient about this. And I just put that back. There we go. Okay. And then later, once this stack is done, we'll put the other stack in. So we are progressing really far, really quickly. Next is, uh, hmm, 
So this requires us to kind of have a little bit of a different uh, a different floor because eventually what we want is lava underneath of these things or something really hot. So we're going to need to make this fairly far away from the base, uh, away from the normal things that we're doing. So maybe I'll just put it on the other side. The issue here is we want to, uh, to place this down further and we don't have a bucket, do we? No. Is there any other types of buckets we can do? No, they're all iron, which I guess, I guess that's kind of easy to do. We just need another furnace. Okay, so to make our bucket, what we're going to use is these um, iron pieces, these things here. And we'll turn these into iron chunks, which when smelted down will give you one piece of iron. There we go. So now we got a bucket and where is that water coming from? I have no idea. Is it? Okay, it's on that other side over here. We could have just used those barrels, but I took them out so I could build. So there goes our water. And uh, we can just jump through here and place the one block we need. Oh my goodness, this is the scary part. Ooh, I want to get rid of that one piece of cobblestone there. You know, because it's a precious resource at the moment. And it fell straight into the void. So I'm thinking the slabs, these, uh, oh, we'll just use this. These oak slabs will not catch on fire because they are one half block down. So these won't catch on fire with what we're going to do. But for right now, what we're going to do is take torches until we get lava and put these fired crucibles on top of the torches. Now the heat from the torches will melt down this lava or this stone. You see that? A little gl glitch there? Okay. So soon we will be able to have one bucket of lava and then we'll replace everything underneath of these with that. So while these are going, because they're actually going really slow if you look, we need a thousand of this liquid level. We need a thousand of it. So I added two more, uh, but it's going to take forever. So what I want to do is actually stop this from smelting because it might need to be a quest. So we're going to let that run until it goes down to 32. But we're going to go through and do all of these. So we need a part table, a stencil table, a pattern chest, and a tool station. I believe I remember how to do all of it. So I'm going to try to do it all by memory. So we need some stencils. I'm just going to make a whole bunch because you always need stencils. Okay, so we made these. So you put a blank pattern on top of a piece of wood to get the stencil table. And then you want a crafting table with a stencil. And that makes, yeah, a tool station. And then you want a log on top of a stencil. And that gets you a pattern builder. I failed. There's one that I did not remember. There we go. Okay, so that quest is complete. So we can claim that. What do we get? A chance pendant. Okay, I, I don't know if I'll be opening very many chance cubes yet. So... I'm going to leave that. But the more important thing here is that we... I'm just going to dump this stuff down. And I don't remember which order it needs to be in. Can that access... Ooh, this is new. Can this access what we want to? It's a pattern chest. And then a stencil table. I think we want the part builder next to it. So we'll do this. Like that. So maybe this, yep, there we go. So it can access the pattern chest. That's perfect. What is this? Oh my God. Okay, don't even, don't click on random things. Ugh. 
Okay, so the next thing in this little quest line is the Tinker Smelter. So we're actually going to need some glass. And I think other than that, we can do all of that. So let's get some sand. Do we have any more sand still? Nope. So it looks like this quest doesn't require us to uh, get any grout. So I'm going to continue to put that there. Okay, so we should be able to craft everything here. So, oh, that can access the crafting stations 3x3 three three grid here, over here. That's really weird. Because this one can do the chest, because it's next to the chest. And this one can do the... Wait, if I put it up there, can it access the inventory inside of the furnace? Oh my god, it can. That is so cool. I wonder if there's some way that we can do some fancy automation with that. Because that would be really cool. But, well, I mean, we can take it out and then make the brick super easy. That's really cool. Anyway, so what we want to do is make one of these. One of these. That one. Uh, it was this. This and this right is that everything oh i didn't hear the ding oh because we got to make the seared bricks okay so now what we need to do is at least make eight okay so that is that quest done let's grab that and then what do we get we get a quarter heart don't think that's gonna help very much an invar hammer yes very good no, not really. I mean, it's good for right now. If we, when, if and when we get it later, it's going to be terrible. It actually makes a lot of sense that we have our smeltery right here next to the lava generation because, well, if it's not automated yet, it's going to be really easy to just come up, scoop up some lava and put it in the smeltery. And also, once it's... Uh, once we've got it automated, we can easily just take the lava, pipe it out, down, and up, or something like that. But it looks like we have the exact amount to get this smeltery up and running. Yes? Oh, and well, we don't, we can't take the cobbles. Just take the cobblestone out. We good? We running? We are running. Okay. So now, with our newly found bucket of lava quest complete yes well we do so good we do so good okay what is this a glowing crystal slow growth works on a nine by nine farm okay so this is like a oh oh well isn't this really good like, we have to get into Botania before we can even mess with that stuff. That's a pretty good loot chest, I think. But anyway, if we put this lava in here, we can start smelting up some cobblestone and make our smeltery even bigger because we don't want it to just stop there. We want it to be higher so we can put more than just nine things in it. That would be a little annoying if we had to only have nine things in there but i'm gonna keep putting some more stuff in here so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade these and then we're gonna call it an episode so what we're gonna need to do to do that is make a ingot cast oh wait what the heck that's a sharpening kit what what okay so we don't need an ingot cast what the heck is a sharpening kit weird okay so that means we're going to need to take this gold and smelt it in our new smeltery here oh that looks weird that looks really weird this is absolutely like the most dangerous design i could possibly think of so now that that's here we've got two blocks of the stuff that's that's really good actually. I didn't expect to have that much iron brick in here. No, you know what? I actually I actually just realized this is down and that's why. So if we put this molten gold in here, this should work. So it'll pour over the top 
can make an ingot cast. Yes. So then we can pour these out now and it will create ingots. We have now reached the metal age. Woo! So I just looked at the recipe for this cobble generator and it's actually really easy. So we're just going to do that really quickly and get automatic cobblestone so we don't have to keep shift right click to get these little pebbles because uh, I set up a little AFK macro so my entire inventory would fill up with pebbles and then I would go over here and uh, craft them up. So a macro is, if you didn't know, it's basically a uh, a thing where it automatically clicks for you in my on your mouse. Now I just made some bricks. That's not a bad thing, but we want three of these to make, or actually two of them to make a bucket. That animation is so cool. Look at that. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Okay. Let's make ourselves a bucket of water and we'll take the water from here. There's our glass and this is super, super simple. I didn't realize it was this simple to make this thing. And then can we upgrade this again? Yeah, we can. Let's upgrade it. Oh, we get the buckets back. Cool. Let's upgrade it too. Why not, you know? Why not go all the way? Upgrade it to iron because we've got the iron already in the in, in our iron age here. And now we got ourselves an upgraded cobble generator. And then the next is diamond. What's after that? Oh, blaze rods and then ender or er, emeralds. Cool. Okay, now let's see how many of these we can make. Uh, why, why the heck did a loot chest go up there? That is strange. Okay, we can only do 15. So I'm going to have to do some more sieving in order to get more iron to upgrade these things all the way. But we have done a crazy amount of stuff this episode. It is insane the stuff you can do at the beginning game here. Because we made all of this progress. So let's open our loot boxes here. What we got? A blaze charm. That's really useful for going into the nether. I believe that's when blaze... If you have this on, blazes don't attack you. Pungy sticks. Those are actually useful for a mob grinder, I think. So like... We place these down. We'll start taking damage, right? Yeah. Ow. Wow. wow. That's actually a lot of damage. And if we break these, they don't, okay. And they can be placed on walls too. That's cool. Although I think the spikes are better, but this is a good beginning game thing. Last one, seven chance cubes. Uh, I, I'm so tempted to open one. So tempted, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, uh, let's see how this cobblestone works. Uh. I think, how does this work? Does it just, oh, it has cobble in it. So what if I put it next to this? Will it start outputting into this? Just even without a, without a cable. Doesn't look like it. I can right click and get the cobblestone that it's producing, but I can't put it in there quite yet. But that's a next episode thing. We did a whole bunch this, this episode. We got so much stuff. I will be working off camera to try and get all the resources saved. But uh, until then, I will see you in the next episode.